I've been playing with Hellion Shoes a lot recently, partly just because they're a fun and interesting item, and partly because I discovered a new tech you can do with them that makes them very strong. So for those of you that don't know how Hellion Shoes work, just basically you cast them on a target that's near you and begin to channel for two seconds. You can't cast or act during this channel, only sort of walk around, but you do become invisible for those two seconds. After the two seconds, you fly to the target wherever it is, as long as it's still selectable, so not invisible or off your screen, and gain a damage boost of 35% for four seconds. And just as a note, 35% damage boost is insanely high for Albion. Royal Sandals, just as a benchmark, only give 15%. Now there are two features of this ability that are not immediately recognizable that allow you to do some pretty crazy things with them. So first, the damage boost that you get from Hellion Shoes starts as soon as the channel ends, not when you reach your target. And second, you can freely act as soon as the channel ends, so you don't have to wait until you reach your target. Now you can probably see where I'm going with this, but basically that means that when you cast Hellion Shoes, you have another option. You can can just instantly cast as soon as the channel ends or wait until you get to your target. And the first option has some crazy strong interactions with specific abilities. Now very quick before I get into how this interacts with different types of abilities, I just wanted to give some basic quick notes about how to actually pull this off as it has some pretty precise timing. So basically you can't actually do much when you are flying to your target, but rather there is a very short window after the channel ends where you can cast before you start flying. So basically you have to use your ability right after that channel ends before you start flying. Now luckily, if you press an ability while channeling, nothing will happen. If you want to break the Hellion 2 channel, you have to press S to manually stop the channel. This means that you can just spam the ability as fast as possible as the channel ends to make things easier. That being said, this isn't the most consistent thing. If you get a little bit of lag at the wrong time, it can mess up pretty easily and just not go off. Or if you just happen to spam a little bit slow, again, it could just not go off and mess up. One thing that helps a ton is switching your settings to put on instant cast on button press as it lets you get abilities off just a little bit faster. Now I don't play with high ping so I don't know exactly how this works in a high ping situation but I imagine it's just a little bit less consistent the higher ping that you have. Okay, moving on to the juicy stuff, how does this interact with different types of abilities? So I've separated the Albion abilities into three general categories that all interact with it slightly differently. So first we have channeled or cast time abilities, such as like the longbow, brimstone, even things like kingmaker that have a sort of cast time before they use their ability are in this section. Next, there's the uninterruptible channeled or cast time, so very similar to the first one, except their channels or casts are uninterruptible, such as the Energy Shaper or Galatines, even things like the Ursine Maulers, all fall within this category. And then lastly, we have instant cast abilities that just go out as soon as you press them, so things like Warbow, One-Handed Frost, Broadsword, etc. All of these different types of abilities interact with this Hellion Shoe tech in a different way, and even within the sections there's some weird sort of stuff which we'll get into. So starting with the channeled or cast time abilities, these are the most simple. Basically, for the vast majority of them, they just get interrupted by the movement of the Hellion Shoes. You can sort of think of the Hellion Shoe pull as a forced movement, so just the same as any other forced movement that gets put on your character when you're trying to cast something or channel something, it will just interrupt it. Weirdly, there are some like melee weapons, like the Kingmaker for example, that will still do the cast animation as you fly, like it won't pull you out of the cast animation, but they still do technically get interrupted and don't actually do any damage or have any effect. In fact, the Kingmaker is a really weird one because the first part of the swing that knocks people up apparently is instant, so that one still does damage and works, but the actual slam that comes after it does get interrupted. You still see the animation, but it actually just doesn't do anything. Next we have uninterruptible casts and channeled abilities and these are by far the simplest. Basically, they just don't get pulled. They'll get the damage boost at the end of the Hellion Shoe duration and they'll just stand in place wherever you were and they'll do their channel or cast with the damage boost, no problem. They won't get pulled at all, nothing really happens. 
the last category, the instant cast abilities, is the spiciest of all the categories. There's some weird, weird stuff that happens with instant cast abilities, so let's just get right into it. Starting off, most just simple instant cast abilities that are just like you press a button and an arrow gets shot out like the Warbow or something, it will cast from wherever you ended the channel of the Hellion Shoes, you'll cast the ability and then you'll fly to your target. Where this gets really interesting though is when you have instant cast abilities that have movement in them themselves, so like dashes and jumps and things like that, even blinks. For these, it more depends on the type of movement that it is. So jumps that take a while and have like an ending thing like a Trinity Spear or Bear Paws will basically get cancelled mid jump so they'll start to jump and then they'll get cancelled and pulled to you and it basically will cancel the ability and make them do nothing. The most interesting interaction though is with very quick dashes, things like the Carving Sword E, the One-Handed Spear E, uh, the Slowing Charge on Hammers as well as the Great Hammers Tackle ability. Basically what happens is that you cast the ability and you get a little bit of movement from that ability, it starts to cast, and then the Hellion Chew pull takes over and takes over the movement from your ability, and so you move a little bit and then you get pulled back to the target of your Hellion Shoes. Now, what's interesting is that it doesn't cancel the ability, so the effect of your dash is still active as you dash back to the target and even hits the target themselves. So for example, you can have like a really long carving sword E, if you Hellion shoot to a target way behind you and then move really far forward, you can have that carving sword's E effect hit like everything on its path, which is pretty crazy. One other sort of class of abilities that sort of is mingled through all of these is targeted abilities, so abilities that require you to have a target selected and use it on them. These follow the rules as I outlined for the other categories, however they're a little bit awkward because when you're casting the Hellion Shoes during that channel you're not allowed to select a different target. So if your intention is to target the person that you targeted with your Hellion Shoes, there's no real problem, it works just fine. For example, if you want to do like a switch up with Death Givers or something like that, it works. But if you want to target a different person, you have to spam click them and spam press the ability at the same time and hope that you get the selection on the target after the Hellion Shoe ends and still have time to get the ability off on them. So it's a little bit harder, it's a little bit more precise on the timing, you have to spam more than one button, but other than that, it works the same. Okay, so here are some of the best combos that I found in my limited testing. I haven't tested all the weapons, so I probably missed some cool or strong ones, but these are some that you can go and try out that are really, really impactful. So first off, I haven't really tested this one in PvP at all, but the Great Hammer combo with the Hellion Shoes seems like it could be really interesting, as you can basically get a really, really long distance great hammer stun if you use it on like one of your backliners then go into their backline or even their frontliner uh, you can just get pulled through their entire team with a stun active which i think is really funny and really cool Next we have Wailing, Weeping, Spirit Hunter, or really any other clap, ranged clap weapons for like CVCs. The Weeping Repeater is actually one I first saw in what exposed me to this tech. And basically these are just super strong because you can go in invis, get a bunch of damage, and then just instantly get pulled back to safety. So it's super, super good with bombing. It's great with the Weeping, it's pretty good with the Wailing, and even the Spirit Hunter has some pretty good synergy. Basically any ranged attack that is a clap and is instant cast is just super good with this because you get a ton of damage from the Hellion Shoes and a ton of safety from the Hellion Shoes pulling you back to your friends whenever you want to. Unfortunately, both the Weeping Repeater and the Wailing Bow are just kind of bad right now, so they're not really used in ZVZs. This tech with the Hellion Shoes makes them viable in my opinion, but if they ever get buffed to a point where they're actually good to use normally, they're gonna be absolutely insane with this tech. Next we have the Galatine pairs, and I honestly think that this Hellion Shoe tech, this Hellion Shoe combo is the future of Galatine pair builds. It is so, so good with this tech. So Galatine pair is a short cast time, but it is uninterruptible, so you won't get pulled back. You'll basically just use it at the location that you end the channel at, and Galatines just have an insane amount of synergy with the Hellion Shoes. 
Swords have enough mobility with the Q stacks and the Iron Will to be able to get some distance after they use the Hell Inch to channel. You are invisible during the channel, which is disgustingly powerful with the Galatine pair. And last but not least, obviously damage amp and especially 35% damage amp with Galatines again is just disgusting. So you do tons of damage from stealth. It's just, it's dirty. Next we have the Bridled Furies, and you could say basically the exact same thing about the Bridled Furies at the Galatine pair, however, the Bridled Furies have the Throwing Star W, which is basically just another sprint with 75% move speed, allowing you to get into a really good position after you start those Hellion Chew channel, and their E works in a way that no other E that I know of works with the Hellion Chew tech. It's, it's got its own unique interaction, which is so weird. So basically, despite being an instant cast movement ability, it will not pull you back to the target after you use the E. So the E of the Bridled Furies will essentially pull you out of the Hellion Shoes movement, basically working in the exact same way that an uninterruptible channeled ability would work. However, Bridled Furies are really weird because if you line up the pullback from the Bridled Fury E to the pull of the Hellion Shoes, so if they're putting you in the exact same direction, it will actually still pull you back to the target of your Hellion Shoes. So if you're able to pull this off, it basically makes the Bridled Furies a clap weapon just as safe as something like the Weeping or the Wailing is with that pullback to safety. Now, obviously this has some practical limitations as you sort of want to aim your Bridled Furies in different ways and you won't always be able to line it up perfectly as you have to move a lot and it's pretty unforgiving. You basically have to be right on line. However, if you have like a dedicated sort of bomb team that you're working with and you know that the person that you're going to hellion shoot to just like isn't going to move at all you can set up the line pretty easily as long as the clap is right in front of you last but not least my personal favorite if you've watched the channel a bunch you know i love the super cheesy harpoon glaive builds where you kidnap people and harpoon works with this hellion shoot combo pretty well it's an instant cast ability, so it'll cast from where your Hellion Shoes are, and it will pull you all the way to your target pretty much no matter where they are. The only problem with this is that the Hellion Shoe jump isn't quite fast enough, so if your target's too far away, it sort of has a max distance that it can go based on the animation time of the Harpoon. So you can see here, I Hellion Shoe to like a Black Panther that was running away, and it made it very, very far, but not all the way towards me. Now I should also mention here, similar to the Harpoon, the Glaive also technically works with this tech. You can Hellion Chew back and then Glaive someone and they will fly sort of with you as you Hellion Chew back, although it suffers from the same problem as the Harpoon, although to a greater scale. The Hellion Chews don't quite move fast enough and so that fling back from the Glaive doesn't quite follow you all the way. You get them farther than you otherwise would, but it's not really worth using the tech for this because it doesn't pull them far enough back in my opinion. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this different sort of video on this new tech. I hope you use that and enjoy it and find some absolutely funny or amazing combos. Please share them if you find them with me as well, because I'd love to see them. And I will see you in the next video.